Baja, 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 Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna continue working on this 2018 GMC Sierra 3500. And before I start doing anything on it, first thing I need to do is stop by at the gas station, fill it in this gas tank because it's cold outside and it's also cold in the garage. And I like working in the warm places. So let's grab the tank, let's go to gas station, fill it in, come back warm it up the shop and then let's start working on the truck I am back and it's warm in the shop. Now I can start working on this truck. First thing what I need to do is take this plastic off. Then move the truck a little forward so I have access to the back of the truck. And also there's so much junk in the bed as you can see. That junk I need to get rid of the, from the bed. Put it somewhere on the floor in order for me to be able to drill the holes in the bed. And I don't know, either I'm going to be measuring from the bottom to uh, find out where's the center of it or I'm going to have to dig the snow out of the original box from this truck and make a template. I don't know, I haven't decided yet and I kind of don't want to go outside because it's cold and also it start raining. So Mike is just going to end up figuring out. I got all the parts off of this bed so now I can freely work in, in there to drill out the hole. I made this uh, pinch, pinch bolt off of the bolt and let me show you what, what I'm gonna do. So as you can see I did attach the bolt over there and also uh, over here. So those two bolts that's gonna keep the bed in place and 
you can see the round uh, thing over there so I'm gonna climb up underneath it and gonna put this bolt in the middle and smack it with the hammer it will give me an idea where's the center of the hole over here that way I can start drilling down and basically that's it I don't have to do any temples or any kind of measurements Now, let's see if that did a trick. Let's climb up here. Oh, I can see it right away. So this is our location. That's where I'm gonna be drilling. So now let's uh, set up the circular saw and start drilling the hole. I got four inch saw. Here's my mark. Let's start drilling. Finger crossed, I'll be right on the spot. So I come to decision, actually poke it back, so that way I can start it drilling. There you go, even made the hole. <clears throat> It's not even big enough. So this should have been four and a quarter, not the four inch. I don't know why instruction says it's a four inch. That sucks. That's it, the bed is completely attached, all bolts are screwed and also the lines with the bed on the cap. So here's the bed line and here's the cap line. Actually, I can't say that's a cap line but here's the line and where's the brakes. So it matches over here, same thing with the other side, it matches over here also. I don't know how can you can see, actually you can see, see this line on the body over here. And also, if you look from here to the bed, it's uh, the actually to the cap. The cap actually sticks out slightly. Same thing over here. The cap it sticks out slightly. That means only one thing. Everything is, sits in the proper spot the way it's supposed to. Now, I'm gonna have to go outside, it's colder, but I have to, because I have to get those uh, tail lights out, uh, tailgate, and also take off the bumper off of the Porsche truck. So I put the warmer jacket, now outside, first thing what I need to do, clean out the snow a little around the box, second I need to take out the tailgate, tail lights, last thing but not least is gonna be the rear bumper, and maybe, just maybe, if I feel like it or I will find a dry enough tarp and put something underneath it, get the tip of the exhaust. But that's again, that just maybe.
Man, I did this, guys. This is the freaking dumbest design I ever saw. You cannot take the rear bumper out unless you unbolt the whole bed. This is freaking insane. And I already torqued the bed on that truck. So that means I'm gonna have to unscrew it, put the rear bumper in, and then screw it back. But at least it's done. I got everything that I need from this truck except for the exhaust tip, maybe the full exhaust, I don't know yet. But I'm happy that I'm about to get this pot truck out of here. And of course I'm keeping this bumper. So now let's go and back into garage and let's install those parts that I pulled out from this truck. And just like that, rear end comes together. So as you can see, everything back in place, the hole for the gooseneck cut out, the box attached to the frame. I call it rear end is completely done. Let's go around to show you how it looks. Man, I can't believe it. This truck has finally started looking like a truck. Check this out, guys. <laughs> Man, I love it. I love it. Everything comes out really, really nice. The gaps are perfect. And the tailgate, I like the tailgate soft opening. So what I had the issue here, because this is the LTZ, oh, not the LTZ, SLT model, and it comes with the soft openers and this tailgate is completely different so the regular tailgate will use those and they actually thicker than the this uh, nest over here so I had to completely replace uh, these things so this is the original ones I didn't know that and also something for you guys if you're gonna replace the tailgate get your tail lights out and then don't put them back in until you finish with the tailgate because everything is from there I did mistakes I thought I would put the tail lights and then would put the tailgate and everything would be awesome but nope I was wrong I did it now it's done what else I had to do is put a cab light and also install this uh, filling neck I believe filling neck and put the gas door back and basically it's gonna be completely done from uh, 
rear doors all the way back it's gonna be completely done so I'm not gonna touch anything anything else right here for now I have something else coming so that's gonna be probably in next episode we'll see when I'm gonna be ready to paint I'll show you guys what's gonna be coming to it now let's put the cab light and fueling neck back That's it, I'm completely done with the box. Here's the uh, fuel neck. Uh, I touched the door. Also, the cab light is back in place. Everything is looking awesome. It looks as a complete truck now. I mean, <laughs> I really like it. Now I wanna disassemble this uh, driver front door completely prepare for painting and uh, then jump in on the passenger side and do same exact i hope i'm gonna be able to paint it today oh i might i might not it's nine o'clock it's probably gonna take me half an hour to disassemble this door and half an hour another door so we'll see maybe i will maybe i won't Maybe I'll just paint it tomorrow. And this door is out also disassembled so what I did is lowered the window took this uh, door trim mirror the inside panel and took this uh, I would say halfway the rubber so because I need to send it over here so I can paint it you can see it got burnt over here so I'm gonna have to send it all the way to the middle so this uh, yellowness doesn't come out through the sealer and through the paint because I had that happen before if you don't take it all the way to the middle this uh, gonna go through so and I'm gonna be painting to the bottom and probably yep to over here the rest of it is fine I'm gonna leave it just that top all the way to the bottom so half a gem on the door 
Again, without the doors. Now let's go on the other side and repeat the process. That's it guys, this door is apart, taken down and it's ready to be sanded, it, mask it off and paint it. Let me show you the reason it needs to be painted. As you can see, this door is not as bad as the driver's side door. It's a lot less, but it still needs to be painted and you can see over here, it's not a whole lot also compared to this door. This door is a lot worse than this door. And I came to decision that I'm gonna be painting them in next episode. It's late already, so I'm tired. And that's basically gonna be it for what I'm doing over here. In next episode, I'm gonna send them down, paint them, and I'm gonna put this heater next to them. And while they're gonna be drying, I'm gonna be sending this fender hood preparing completely for the painting stage. And I think while I'm gonna be done with the bolt fenders and the hood, the gem's gonna be dry enough to hang them back on the uh, truck. And then I'm, all I'm gonna do is just uh, scotch bright it, or maybe just gonna scotch bright it on those stands and put it back on the truck so I can start masking and painting. So we'll leave the paint for the painting stage for the other episode. And another reason that I want to paint them uh, in next episode so I can get this truck outside that way I'm not gonna have to cover it and since it's raining today and uh, late already I'm not gonna get the truck out. So there you go. That's gonna be it for this episode. I did what I can. The rear end is complete. It looks great. The truck start looking as a truck. It's almost complete. And before you know, this thing is gonna be complete. Thank you guys for stopping by. Like this video, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't. Also, follow me on Instagram to see Inside Scoop before YouTube. Thank you for your support and I'll catch you next one. Oh.